So check it out. I have a few acoustic guitars and I use them for different purposes. I have acoustic guitars that I record with and I have acoustic guitars that I perform with. I found in doing some research that there are some upgrades you can do or modifications you can do to your guitar to make it sort of come to life. One of the things I did research about was bridge pins. This is gonna be guitar 101 for those who don't know much about guitar. But bridge pins are these guys right here. There's a pin going down into each saddle of the guitar. It's essentially where you put in the guitar's string. You put a bridge pin in here to basically hold down the strings so that it doesn't pop out of place. This one has a bit of a rust. Oh wait, is that rust? Let's see. A bit of a bit of dirt or rust? No, it's a bit of dirt. Anyway, these usually uh, acoustic guitars. Excuse me, I'm a bit of a neat freak. A lot of times, acoustic guitars come with plastic pins, plastic bridge pins. The argument here is that bridge pins that are either brass or titanium unmuffle the sound of the guitar. I thought, let me put this to the test and see whether or not this is true. FU Tone is a company that's very, very popular amongst the guitar community. They're known for doing all kinds of custom guitar modifications. I've seen guitarists that I respect who play acoustic guitar. I've seen them rave on and on about brass acoustic bridge pins and how it literally changed the face of their tone. And so I contacted FU Tone. They sent me over acoustic bridge pins and I was like, let me put them in into this guitar. This is my main guitar for acoustic performances that I play with. I did a recording where I tested out what it sounded like with the plastic acoustic bridge pins. And then I put in the new bridge pins, same strings to compare it out. Nothing is different on the guitar except there are now brass bridge pins. As I was stringing it up, I wasn't even playing a song. I was just making a sound and tuning up the guitar to get the strings back. Already I was like, whoa. Just from tuning my guitar, I immediately heard uh, a difference in clarity. The guitar went from sounding like this with the plastic bridge pins to sounding like this with the brass bridge pins. I emailed the guy back at FU Tone and I told him, my dude, holy, you know what? You've made my guitar resonate like a guitar way above its price range. But what I thought would be cool is to install brass bridge pins from FU Tone into another acoustic guitar that has plastic bridge pins and you guys can hear the immediate difference. So this baby sounds incredible now, but this baby is today's victim. Or not victim, but the next guitar. This is a Taylor GS Mini guitar. I love this guitar so much and it's easy to travel with. It's got... I'm sorry. You could actually hear this guitar on uh, Cracks in the Mirror. This is also on Wicked for Days. If you listen to the end, the last chorus of Wicked for Days, there was this guitar in the background and same for Cracks in the Mirror at the end where there's like all these guitars happening at once. It's this guitar. I'll show you how resonant it is by itself. Oh, oh, oh! Do you hear that? Do you hear that resonance? Like, that's a big deal. That's how I check and test out all of the guitars before I buy them. I just take my head and I go, ah, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna tune up this guitar right now. I'm gonna play maybe some passages of like, If Only You Knew, and maybe Wicked For Days. We're gonna play those two songs with bridge pin and then with brass pins. So here we go. <laughs> If only you knew. Now let's play a little bit of Wicked for Days. So, sounds pretty good. It sounds like a good guitar. Let's see, boys and girls, what it's gonna sound like after we replace these bridge pins with brass bridge pins. So if you guys have an acoustic guitar, now is your day to learn. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, I like this tool because it's essentially a string changer. So we uh, basically take this, Untune that. All the strings, as you can see, are already detuned. Over here, I have my shipment of the brass bridge pins, and I'm gonna open them up with uh, my trusty scorpionic knife. Yes. Aww, it's my first time opening this. Isn't that sweet? The lovely folks at FU Tone are so kind and lovely. They made an incredible product. And you're about to hear it. That's what we call acoustic bridge pins that are oops, made of brass. As you can see, we have some stickers. FU tone, FU tone. These are definitely gonna go on my git case for my pedal board. We're gonna take the same tool that I showed you that we used to unwind the strings. Cool thing about this, and Jim Dunlop is brilliant. The company is fantastic. They make great products too. They made this little loopy, swoopy thing. It's made to take out bridge pins like so. You scoop it under there, pop, there it goes. Okay, there we go. Let's now see what it sounds like with the brass acoustic bridge pins in. Let's 
try now with uh, Wicked for Days. So I gotta say, this is just initial opinion for me. One thing I didn't consider was how different this guitar is to this guitar. If this was like a full size guitar, this is a three fourth size guitar. The original plastic bridge pins on this guitar kind of were making it just sound eh. Whereas the brass bridge pins on this really brought out the clarity of the note and kind of made it resonate louder and brighter. With this guitar, the it, it was already loud. It was louder than that guitar. I think the reason why they kind of went, or Taylor, why they went with plastic bridge pins for this guitar was to give it a little bit more low end. But what the brass bridge pins just did, they did take away some of the bass from this guitar. Because I guess it's just because it doesn't have that much bass to begin with. But what it did do was amplify the hell out of the mids. It sounds good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it sounds really good. For me, the test always go comes down to two things. A, how it feels in your hand, and B, how it's gonna record. But the thing that's really great about brass bridge pins is like, it's another tool for your arsenal. It really does make a huge difference. It's not like a, a five to 10% difference. I'd say at the very least, like a 30 to 40% difference on your uh, acoustic guitar sound. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. I'm, I'm definitely gonna leave these in here. The bass response on, on with plastic are, are superior. It is better and bassier. But the price of that is like this muffled sound that you just, it sounds like this. Literally you're playing with somebody muffling your, your guitar. Whereas with the brass bridge pins, it sounds clean. So you're sacrificing a little bit of the bass, a little bit, but not enough to make me want to go back. Brass bridge pins, check it out. If you're a player, go to fu-tonefutone.com. Check them out. They really do make a difference, a big significant difference.